Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Towers PBR Pack. So I think with this, um, the actual images we see on this don't quite do the asset justice. Um, it looks okay from the images. However, when you get into the actual asset itself, it looks better than it does in the images. So it comes with the scene, pre-done, you know I love them, and we've got three towers, so three watch towers. And what I like most about these is they are incredibly versatile. They are way more versatile than what they would seem. I really like how they are designed. This one in particular, I would say is probably my favorite. I, I like the whole design of it. And even look, it's built inside. Now this is something a little bit of a rarity because you don't specifically see, especially free, assets of this quality where it's even built inside. They're just like kind of fascias, but either way, still nice. And then you got a little one over here. Now that's kind of cool. I like that. Skybox is incredibly cool. <laughs> I really, really like the Skybox. It's nice. So I would say that comes as an extra because you don't really get the impression that a skybox would come with it other than that image. But that skybox there looks pretty generic in that image. So it's not a big deal. So I would consider the skybox a bit of an extra. So in the pack itself, we get all of this stuff. We set ground there. We get the metal tower. And then we've got the prefabs and stone tower, wooden tower. The prefabs uh, I'm, I like mostly because, I mean, we can play around with these, bring them in however we want to. You know, you, what you see is what you get. Into, like I say, in terms of extras, the skybox is probably the most you will get in terms of extras, but the overall quality of this package, I feel, is really, really nice. If we go to the game view, we can see just how nice it could be. So with a little bit of work, you know, a tiny little bit of pro post processing applied to this scene, and this is what our tower looks like. And if we pivot it around and have a look at the other towers, they look kind of cool. I really like how it's designed. It's very, very nice. So quality wise, yes, I think it is a great asset and especially with it being free. For free, you may as well try it. If you're creating any kind of game that would involve any kind of tower, then yes, I would say take a look at this one. This is great. And 200 megabytes, it's not huge, but it's not exactly tiny. Just be mindful of that size if you have a big project or if you're on a limited connection or slow connection, anything like that. But 200 megabytes, I would say, is fairly decent for what you get here. Quantity wise, yep, you get the three towers, you get a couple of little extras as well. Uh, versatility, yeah, it's quite versatile because you can change what you need to within this. The whole tower itself is one whole object, but you could apply a mesh collider so you have the ability to kind of go inside if you need to. You don't necessarily have to, they could just be purely for visual effect. Uh, but then you can always you know, play around with, uh, let's say, let, let's go with this and change the normal map. Let's just increase it. You can see it's changed there. And let's go on the main stone. And let's just change the normal map once again. And you can see it really changes there. And if you go to game view, you can see just how much it looks. It looks really run down here. So again, customizing it to how you need it to be is actually really, really easy. Or it usually always is in these kind of assets. Uh, usefulness, yeah, it's fairly useful depending if uh, you are creating a game that would require them. I mean, there's no point creating some kind of sci-fi adventure and then having these in, they wouldn't fit in. So just be mindful of that. Um, so as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't recommend them. And yeah, I think I'd recommend this one. I think it's a nice asset to have in your game if you're creating maybe something medieval, maybe something of a survival type game. I think they'd be fit in quite nicely. So guys, have you used this asset? If you have, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it good? Bad? Tell me what could be better, tell me what needs fixing, anything like that. And if you've got an asset yourself on the asset store, whether it's free or paid, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to check it out. And don't forget, finally, click subscribe and click the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with everything about video game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.